It's really stupid when you do, when you do, I was my own, no, no one's idea, they know none of these ideas are mine, I just link them everywhere, right? If you move around enough, no one will catch you. <laughs> um, it's, I, come on, I get this idea, you walk to the person's house and you thank them. Well, that, I thought that would work the bomb. Mark, it's a country, it's not a city. So what if the guys in Cape Town are going to walk 1,600 kilometers? Program manager says, no. you can't. Mark says, you can, obviously you can, because I don't have nose. In the circus, there's no nose. Everything is possible. Everything is possible in the circus. They don't stop for everything. That's part of the inter that's part of the program. <laughs> that's why you like it. So I'll let the cat out the bag now, right? So we say well, you're the millionth person. God, I've only got seven minutes left. You're gonna be the millionth person and we'll answer the phone. You can't answer the phone for a million people, people. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> It's impossible. If there are ever four lines incoming to a radio station, only two and a half work. <laughs> and I hope that puts paid to your next creative idea that you're sitting thinking of right about now, in which game shows will be held, and the DJ will do this, and this will happen. It can't! Go to the freaking studio and have a look for yourselves! It's all broken! <laughs> So we pretended to take a million calls. <laughs> and, then I f and then I thought, well, I, can't, I can't walk to Benoni because that seems like a cop out. So we thought, well, how far can we walk? We can, we, we can manage 500 Ks. Right. Millionth man clearly lives in Peter Maritzburg. It's obvious. That's where he lives. Millionth man. And don't worry, even if you found this out now, he, he was still, he's still so happy, that guy. He, he's, he's, he's shot up on life, that guy. We can walk to his house, it can't be the end of the world, right? So we plan the walk, we don't train, because training is for pussies. We don't have to, this is walking, it's not running, you know? Anyone can walk. Needless to say, on the way to, to the start point, someone had to do some maths and work out that you can't actually walk 500 guys in five days. So then we got clever, because one of the guys with me did maths. So he worked out that if, if all five of you walked at the same time, that were 25 kilometers all at the same time. And then you'd all get picked up and moved along another 25 kilometers. And so we destroy this damn thing. Now, two things come out of this that, it, that, that I'm hoping will illustrate my point. One is, when I said, I'd like to go to the millionth person. If I'd said, I'm going to go to the, to the thousands person. There's something about thousand that doesn't seem to rock anyone's boat. But a million is what people like. Everyone wants to do the millionth, right? And hence the Million Man March. Even if Martin Luther King had been there and had called for a thousand, no one would have turned up. They would have said, no, no Martin, we only come when it's a million. <laughs> Immediately, people wanted to take part. Yet there was no prize. Explain this to me. Why do they want to take part in something? There's no prize. But everything we do is about damn prizes. It's about a hamper. No prize. They phoned, and they phoned, and they phoned, and they are still phoning. Right now! Cliff has just taken a call. Oh, I'm not a millionth man. I have never, I have ne I, I don't know what to say to you. And whoever the brand was that didn't get to sponsor that thing, lost out, the, probably the greatest loss in the history of advertising. 